What makes you happy? Is it your family or close friends? Is it the cash or the peace of mind? The ancient Stoics, such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, had a different definition of happiness. They didn't see anyone smiling. The way the media portrays it now, or the way most people think about happiness. The challenge now is how you can be as content as the Stoics. Today we'll give you 10 Stoic lessons that have worked in the past and will work again in 2024 to help you reinvent yourself. Because these teachings are so strong and valuable, even if you only employ two of them, they will change your life forever. Hold, hold tight and pay close attention because this will change your life forever. Let us begin our journey. Lesson one. Don't question yourself anymore. Begin to have faith. Doubt is a strong enemy that often creeps into our minds like an unwanted guest. But there's a catch. It's not about getting rid of all questions. It's about keeping a calm attitude about it. You see, even the Stoics had doubts about themselves, but they knew how to use them to their advantage. For example, look at Marcus Aurelius, a man who was in charge of a kingdom, but still took time to think about things and give himself advice. His strategy wasn't to ignore uncertainty. Instead, it was to fight it. He asked, is this a good thought? Does it make my life better or worse? This is our cue. When doubt comes up, these questions can help us deal with it, turning it from a problem into a chance to learn and grow. Sometimes it's funny how we make our questions bigger when the answers are easier than we think. Aurelius thought, the way we think shapes our lives. These are not simply poetic words. They are a useful motto. Think about this. You're about to begin a new task or interest. There is doubt, some whispers. It's not possible. This is where you change the story. Take the question seriously. Then you should show proof of your past wins, no matter how small they may seem. Having faith in yourself can be the first thing that makes you happy. Remember that being happy doesn't mean not having any doubts. It means being able to believe in yourself, even when you do. Lesson 2. Think about your life. Have you ever stopped watching Netflix and thought, is this it? Let's be honest. You don't have to go up a peak and meditate to think about your life. It's about pausing. You might want to ask yourself some deep questions while you drink your coffee in the morning. For example, what makes me get out of bed every morning? Or why do I do what I do? Think of your life as a movie now. Would you watch it or would you fall asleep before the end of the opening theme? When you reflect, you don't have to be hard on yourself. Being honest is important. If your daily life were a YouTube movie, would you click like or scroll past? Don't forget that you're in charge of this show. You decide if it's good enough to binge Let's talk about dreams now, not the weird ones where you wear your pajamas to work, but you're real. I want this so badly. Do they just sit on a shelf and gather dust? Time to clean them up, separate them into parts, just like your morning to-do list. Take a look, as long as you remember to charge your phone every night. There is no doubt that you can take small steps towards your goals. You are the author of your own life story. Make it a story you would love to tell. Lesson three, pay attention to what you can change. Unpredictability in life can be too much at times. There is a way to stay calm though. Pay attention to what you can change. In the same way that you play computer games, you can't change how the levels are made or how other people act but you can control your moods. In the same way, cheat on your actions, thoughts and emotions all the time in real life. You can use this keyboard and these buttons. Do not waste them. As a well-known Stoic philosopher, Seneca was once sent away. 
For most people, being sent into exile means losing power. Not Seneca, though. He went inside and worked on his writing and thinking, taking care of his inner garden. He wasn't going on a vacation. He was just focusing on what he could control. His writings from this time show how important it is to focus your attention on the things that matter most. This lesson is just as important now as it was in ancient Rome. We can change some things, but not others. This quote, which is often credited to Epictetus, says it all about Stoicism. Epictetus knew what he could and could not control, so he focused on his own thoughts and actions. By following this way of thinking, we can all become not only happy, but also more content and strong, as he was in the middle of life's chaos. Don't forget that the goal is not to stop the storm, but to learn how to dance in the rain. Lesson 4. Be considerate of others. People often say this, what you give comes back to you. Think about throwing a rock into a lake. It makes waves that go in many directions that the pebble could never reach. That's the power of helping other people. Being kind, even if it's just by keeping the door open for someone or smiling at them, changes the world around us. It's not about making big moves. Kindness that you show every day is what really matters. By making someone else's day a little better, we make our own a little better too. Here's the catch. Most of the time, the good things you do come back to you, but not always in the way you expect. Kindness comes back to you like a boomerang. It will come back sometimes in the form of a smile of thanks, sometimes to lend a hand when you least expect it, this isn't about keeping score, but rather knowing that our actions contribute to a kinder, more compassionate world. And this world is a good place for happiness to grow. Seneca, who knew how powerful kindness could be, once said, wherever there is a person, there is a chance to be kind. Seneca did more than just teach. He was kind and generous, and he often gave advice and helped people without expecting anything in return. We can learn from his life that the best way to be happy is not to get things, but to give things. Let's go into 2024 with kind hearts and ready to help others. An act of kindness can lead to a better life after all. Lesson 5. Less is more. Did you ever try juggling? Too many balls were dropped, and they all ended up on the floor. That's kind of how life is. When you try to do everything, you usually don't get much done. You need to do less but better of what you already do. It's not how many chores you do, but how engaged you are in them. Give everything you have to the things that really matter to you. This focused method not only makes you better at what you do, but it also makes you feel more satisfied and successful. Cutting down on things doesn't mean having less. It's about getting more of the things that matter. Cut your list of things to do down to the most important ones, like a sculptor carving away extras to show a beautiful statue. Get rid of the things that don't matter in your life to find your true goals. When you get clear, you take action and when you take action, you focus on fewer things, which makes you happy. You can better direct your energy, making every effort count. Alexander the Great. Someone once said, concentrate every minute like a Roman on doing what's in front of you with exact and genuine seriousness, kindness, willingness, and justice. He was in charge of more than just a kingdom. He was also in charge of his own time and attention. In our search for happiness, he set priorities, thought about what to do, and then did it. Focusing on doing less but better is a good way to remember how wise he was. We let a world of greatness and happiness into our lives. To make a bigger difference, let's narrow our focus. Lesson 6. Appreciate things. Let's think about being thankful for a moment. 
It's kind of like finding five dollars in an old jacket. It was there all the time. But as soon as you find it, things get a little better. That's how being thankful changes things. The point is to enjoy the little things. A nice cup of coffee, a text message from a friend, and the sun going down. When you start to notice these times and be grateful for them, all of a sudden life gets better. You don't have to wait for big things to happen. It's about finding happiness in everyday things. How do you give thanks now? A pattern? It's really very easy. Every night you could write down one thing you're thankful for in a gratitude notebook. What it is could be as small as taking a moment to enjoy silence or as big as reaching a personal goal. This habit changes your attention from what's missing to what's already there. And believe me, you'll find more things to be thankful for the more you look for them. Epictetus once said, He is wise who doesn't whine about the things he doesn't have, but is glad about the things he does have. This man looked at what he had instead of what he didn't have and found happiness in his simple, limited life. What he told us in 2024. Let's show our thanks by noticing and appreciating all the good things in our lives. We open the doors to joy and happiness. It is important to remember that being thankful makes you happy. Not being happy makes you thankful. Lesson 7. Stop looking for acceptance from others. The need for acceptance from others. It's like chasing an elusive shadow. Stoicism. An ancient philosophy teaches us a great lesson here that is unexpectedly relevant in our lives. Let's start by being honest. At some point, everyone wants a thumbs up from other people. But here's the catch. Stoicism tells us to read the other side of things. For approval, you need to look inside yourself, not outside. Think of your sense of self-worth as a stronghold. Why give the keys to someone else? Now for the useful stuff. How can you actually stop this plan to get approval? First, give yourself credit for what you've done, no matter how small. This morning, did you make your bed? Good job. Please take a moment to enjoy these small wins. It all adds up, believe me. It's like getting stronger mentally. One where you run the team and cheer for the team. And the next time you want to post something on social media to get likes or praise, stop and ask yourself, am I doing this for me or for the gram? Let me tell you a secret. Your view is the most important one. Do something that makes you proud every day. Not for the praise, but to feel good about what you've done. Rewiring our brains to look for approval from within instead of from outside sources is what it's all about. Think of it as clearing out your mind. Focus less on what other people think. More room for you to grow. Being true to yourself is more important than not caring about other people. This change in how you think is more than just freeing. It gives you power. Lesson 8. Put yourself to the test. Assume you are ascending a mountain. It's steep and difficult, and you'll wonder why you even started. But here's the catch. Every step you take up the mountain makes you stronger and more resilient. Stoicism. A philosophy as old as the hills, yet as new as the sunrise tomorrow, informs us that true fulfillment in life comes from overcoming obstacles rather than avoiding them. So, let's make our everyday grind our own Everest in 2024. You might be thinking right now, isn't it true that it's easier said than done? Stoicism, on the other hand, isn't about overnight transformation. It's about making incremental, consistent changes. Begin by setting a goal that is challenging, but attainable. It could be learning a new skill, getting in shape, or simply reading a book once a month. The important is not the objective itself, but the progress that results from pursuing it. Each modest win is a step closer to the summit. 
Do you recall? Climbing a mountain is not a solo endeavor. Share your struggles and triumphs with others. By sharing your story, Stoicism teaches us the value of community and support. Not only do you win pals, but you also encourage others to begin their own climbs. So as we enter 2024, let us set a goal for ourselves. Support one another and take in the scenery from our personal peaks. Good luck with your climbing. Lesson 9. Laugh even more. Laughing more is more than just a cheery tip. It's a cornerstone of a happy existence, reflecting the ancient Stoics' philosophy. Take, for example, Chrysippus, a Stoic philosopher who allegedly died of laughing. While this is an extreme example, it highlights a profound fact. Laughter is a serious matter. It's a tool for lightening our loads and putting our problems into context. Consider the absurdity of life's tiny dramas for a moment. Your coffee spills, as seen through a humorous lens. Instead of being frustrated, there's a smile over the universe's odd timing. That's stoicism in action, reminding us that not everything merits a brow wrinkled. Now, how do you fit more laughter into the modern day puzzle? It's not as difficult as you may assume. Begin by looking for the lighter side of everyday occurrences. There is a traffic jam. It's an opportunity to listen to your favorite comedy podcast. Work was a struggle today. Share your weird encounter stories with your pals. This is not about disregarding life's complexities, but rather about choosing a positive outlook. It's a stoic, practical approach. You can control what you can, such as your viewpoint and reaction, and you can let go of what you can't. Laughter is a universal melody. It brings us together, making our common journey a little brighter. So, the next time you come across anything humorous, please share it. Be the one who makes others happy. Your laughter creates a rippling effect, influencing lives in ways you may never realize. Finding harmony inside and distributing it forth is the core of Stoicism. It is not just about bearing life stoically, but also about embracing it joyfully. So go ahead and laugh some more. It is not only beneficial to the soul, it's wisdom that has been passed down through the years. Lesson 10. Love your fate. You should be happy with your fate. It sounds like a tall order, doesn't it? However, this is where the old wisdom of Stoicism collides with our fast-paced, tech-savvy society. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or bearing pain with a stiff upper lip. It's about embracing everything life throws at you with a positive attitude. Consider it similar to surfing. Waves will come in all sizes, but it's your ability to write them that counts, not the size of the wave. So, how do you embrace your fate in a society when your fate might range from a misdemeanor to a key communication going into the digital abyss? Begin by shifting your perspective. When something doesn't go your way, consider it a learning opportunity. I miss that Uber. It's an opportunity to go for a little walk and get some fresh air. Email has vanished. It's time to brush up on your computer skills. It's not about being too positive, but about looking for the silver lining in every cloud. This approach is more than just making the best of a terrible circumstance. It's all about turning obstacles into stepping stones. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wisely observed that what gets in the way becomes the way. This means that the very difficulties you confront might pave your way to achievement. Instead of yelling the next time your Wi-Fi goes down during a crucial conversation, try this. Take a moment to admire the unplugged world. Maybe strike up a discussion with someone nearby or scribble down those innovative ideas you've been putting off. In essence, loving your fate is about embracing life's unpredictable nature with agility and grace.
It's choosing to dance in the rain rather than wait for the storm to pass. As we enter 2024, keep in mind that life isn't only occurring to you, it's occurring for you. Every twist, turn and crash is an invitation to become stronger, smarter and happier. So smile as you feed those waves and watch how your world changes as we conclude our voyage through the principles of Stoicism and our search for a happier 2024. Remember, as the ancient Stoics taught, you have the capacity to shape your own happiness. Concentrate on what you can change. Let go of what isn't and accept what is. Life is full of unexpected turns. However, if you have a stoic mindset, you will be able to manage them with calm and insight. Please hit the like button if you find our discussions useful. Subscribe to get more information. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay up to date. Every step you take toward knowing stoicism takes you closer to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Here's to a brighter, happier you in reinventing yourself in 2024.